warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. And here we have Real Madrid against Barcelona. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Beckham. Well, I can tell you, I'm truly delighted to join you, Peter, and, and thank you very much for that. Well, you can feel the sense of occasion here. El Clasico, one of world football's great occasions. No rivalry more intense. Real Madrid decide to name a starting 11 that looks like this. Casillas, Eves goal, Pepe, Sergio Ramos, Daniel Carvajal, Marcelo. Tony Kroos, Modric, James Rodriguez, Bale, Cristiano Ronaldo. Benzema tasked with leading the line. Barcelona are away from home. Bravo takes the gloves. Pique, Mascherano. Daniel Alves, Jordi Alba, Sergio Busquets, Rakitic, Iniesta, Messi, Neymar, Luis Suarez, tasked with scoring goals. And we're underway. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? I would go for the supremely athletic Jordi Alba, yet another of the modern fullbacks that is blessed with great stamina and pace, which allow really effective late runs forward and help with his recovery and getting back. Yeah, the scourge of so many strikers. Hamas Rodriguez! Goal! Listen, the big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason we've just seen. They have a habit of making their presence felt, and here we are, early stages. He struck one, and he looks hungry for more. Any deeper thoughts about that goal? Well, I thought once he got the first part of it right by getting his knee over the ball, it was always likely to be drilled very low, and so it proved. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Daniel Alves. And it's Benzema. Benzema with the ball through. It's Bale! Oh, taken with style! Hot knife through butter. They have done it again. A oh, lovely header, but really it was all about the delivery. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. Real Madrid take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, that second goal has given them... They are rampant! And they are disappearing out of sight! Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Real Madrid take a three-goal lead and they are romping out of sight. Cristiano Ronaldo. Bell! Harmlessly behind. Well, that's the kind of break that can do a lot of damage. It just lacked the finish to be a great counter-attacking strike. It was so direct. Bale has made his mark on this game. Neymar. Now it's Iniesta. He's away. It's Iniesta! Marcel. James Rodriguez, Marcelo, looking for options, now here's the through ball. He is not one readily to admit defeat, don't be surprised if he tries that again. Tries a through ball, 
Bale's cross. Header! He scores! And already they're looking to run away with it. And that is a fabulous Real Madrid goal. Well, look, Real Madrid have evolved into a more possession-focused outfit under different management, but they still retain that lethal breaking power. That's why he costs so much money. How do you stop him when he's in full flight like that? Impossible. Real Madrid tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. James, James Rodriguez, Benzema! World-class carry Benzema! All too easy, they are in danger of disappearing out of sight. What about that, Jim Beglin? Benzema is the obvious danger man here, and yet he was afforded way too much freedom. I think he was gifted that goal. His reputation should have been warning enough for them. Real Madrid, totally rampant here. And it's half-time here. Real Madrid have run riot in the first half, and barring a miraculous comeback, they have done the job already. Start of the second half. Now the pass. He's in space and looking for options. Firmly met. Iniesta. Neymar. Luis Suarez. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. James Rodriguez. Barcelona emerge unscathed, they were right up against it. Drilled in low. Good clearance and very necessary. Daniel Alves. Looks to slip it through. Cristiano Ronaldo crosses. Jordi Alba. Benzema, whistle goes, he's been given offside. Real Madrid, get dipped into their subs. Modric. Neymar. Luis Suarez. Tony Kroos. Luis Suarez. Now it's Neymar. Iniesta. Now it's Luis Suarez. Tony Kroos. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Marcelo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo crosses. Well, listen, that was made a lot easier by such a delicious cross, but you have to say that it was made even easier because of the marking. It just wasn't tight enough. It's a loose ball. Messi. Rakitic. Marcelo positions himself well and cuts it out. Daniel Alves. Got into a good position down the right, just needs support to arrive. Tony Kroos, Cristiano Ronaldo. It's good progress he's made on the ball. Marcelo passes it through. Cristiano Ronaldo gets into some space. Meets it first time! And with that, the final whistle. Real Madrid enjoy their perfect day. For their victims, it is entirely imperfect. Comprehensive winners of a one-sided contest. The end of the game. Reflections? Listen, I've experienced the highs and the lows of derby clashes, and I can tell you that when you win one, it's uh, pretty special. There's so much at stake, it's, it's almost a relief to get it over. And, uh...